Kiha Copilot, The Agent Awakes, fresh off February's change log. Hey developers, welcome to GitHub Checkout, your inside look at the latest features and updates to level up your workflows. I'm Andrea Giffords, Senior Developer Advocate, and today we're exploring a major revolution in AI-powered development. GitHub Copilot is taking a huge leap with agent mode in VS Code. We're excited to have Pierce Bogan with us today to show us how this is going to transform your development experience. I opened Copilot inside of VS Code. This is the chat pane. So this is where I can ask questions like about my code base, how to solve a particular problem, such as a bug. And we have a new thing inside of Copilot called Copilot Edits. You click on this button and it says edit with Copilot. And so the way we see people partnering with AI and Copilot to build their apps, there's people who are more editor centric. And when people think about GitHub Copilot, they think about being in the editor, the ghost text completions, things like that. And of course, that's still part of Copilot. Um, but there's a new pattern evolving, which is this prompt first approach, where I use natural language to describe what I want to build. And so that's what Copilot edits is in this screen. So in this dialogue, I can essentially say, I want to implement this feature and give some details to Copilot. And Copilot will look across my project, and it'll determine which files it needs to make edits in. And it'll actually go in and make edits across multiple files. So it's really a prompt first way to build apps. Now let's talk about agent mode. What agent mode does is it allows me to stay even more in the flow inside of this prop centric experience by essentially being able to use what we call tools inside VS Code. So rather than just writing code to the editor, I type a prompt, it generates edits, it makes those back in my editor, like regular mode happens inside of Copilot edits. What agent mode does is it actually says, okay, I don't have all the context I need. I need to search over your code base to find relevant files. I need to run a terminal command. Uh, can I do that, please? I want to check to make sure that I didn't produce any errors. Can I do that? And so essentially, think of agent mode as being able to reach into other parts of VS Code and do things there, uh, such as the terminal. I can make a terminal request from inside of Copilot agents. And Copilot agents not just makes that request, but if there's any output that's relevant for the future of that agent session, Agent mode can actually pull that in and use that to inform its future plans. How do I enable agent mode? So then to enable it, all I need to do is open the settings view, which for me on Mac is command comma, and I'll just search for agent. And I see this chat agent setting right here, and it just says enable agent mode for Copilot edits. So we'll go ahead and toggle that as yes. And then let's go ahead and open Copilot edits again. And you can see here, I have this drop down. And I have a mm -hmm. mode agent and edit. But if there's certain context I really want to make sure that Copilot knows about, I can go in here explicitly and add that. So in this case, I developed a custom instruction, which is just basically a way to personalize Copilot. And so I'm going to go ahead and attach that here. And all this does is say some general rules for how I want Copilot to generate my code and interact with me. So this could be specific to my code base or how my team works. So in this case, I've added some rules, like summarize any changes you make in a changelog file. This is an iOS project that we're going to be working in. So please use modern Swift UI. Don't use storyboards. I'm not a designer. I'm a developer. So let's make everything beautiful. Some instructions on building and testing the app. So these are cool because if you build these, you can really personalize Copilot to how your team works and your code base works. And you just put in that file and it's automatically attached to any interaction I have with Copilot. You can see I can also screenshot the window. I could get uh, context from a GitHub issue or PR. So there's a lot of really cool things you can do there. I could use my voice. I could just say, this is what I want to do. That's a natural interaction pattern a lot of people have with AI, especially wow. for prompt first workflows. And of course, GitHub Copilot lets you pick the best model for your team and project. So for this one, we're actually going to use Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So I'll just go ahead and select that. And that's available in all tiers of Copilot, including Copilot Free. So let's actually see it in action. I have a prompt here. It's basically asking to create some user interface to track my water consumption. So I have buttons that will make my water consumption go up for the day and say I accidentally clicked that button too much, buttons that will make it go down. And then just show that, and then let's build and run that app. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit Enter, and let's let agent mode cook. And then you can see here, it's already gone ahead and searched my code base. So it said, OK, where is the UI I actually need to add? I didn't tell it, right? So yeah. I found this content view. OK, now it's saying, OK, I'm actually going to make some edits to, to actually implement the UI you asked for. So you can see here. I have my edits UI, so I'm going to go ahead and accept those suggestions. We did check this file for errors. I mentioned that earlier. So we're not just producing the edit. We're saying, are there actually any errors in the code that was produced? And then it says, OK, this looks good. So you can see how it's iterating. It's not just building a plan and executing on it. It's actually using the result of these tool calls to actually figure out what it needs to do. Let's build and run the app. So here's a terminal command. And I'm just going to hit Continue. And so this is going to build my iOS application in VS Code. So I get a build succeeded in terminal. 
So in maybe a normal interaction, this would be the end of our agent mode session. But the cool thing about agent mode is that it's actually going to look at that and say, OK, the build succeeded. And now we're ready to actually run this in the iOS simulator, right? So we're going to hit continue here. And this is going to go and execute another command inside of terminal. You can see it went ahead and executed it there. And let's give our iOS simulator a second to pop open. So I'm not even just like producing edits and searching over my code base to determine where those edits should be, but I'm also coming in here and actually running and debugging the app all from agent mode. I haven't touched the editor at all here. Look at okay, this. So look at this beautiful. You are, you are a designer. So I'm telling you, you would think it would just generate beautiful code by default. No, you have to tell it what you want, people. And in this case, it's beautiful code. Here we have the water tracker. I'll go ahead and add, and you can see that goes up. I'll hit remove, and that goes down. Amazing. So agent mode went and did this. It summarizes the changes it made for me. And then this is one of my instructions, which I think is pretty cool, because if you're in this prompt-centric flow, it can sometimes get a little overwhelming to understand exactly what's going on. So if I come over here, I can see, actually, it's adding to this changelog.md file that I asked it to write to with any changes it's making. If I ever forget what was the last thing we did, just come back to this log, right? So here I can see it added water consumption UI with increment and decrement buttons. It implemented a water counter announce announces. And so now I have this change log of the things that happened. We added the UI, we built and ran this application all from a one prompt, by the way, in agent Amazing. mode. Like I said, just let agent mode cook. If I'm a good developer, maybe I write some tests. I don't personally enjoy writing tests. I know I should, but I, I don't enjoy it. So let's just prompt Copilot edits agent mode and say, hey, please add some UI tests. Okay. They check to make sure that counter is working appropriately. And then same thing as before, I actually want to run these and see these in action. So we're going to go ahead and prompt that. And again, let's let agent mode cook. So technically you could have instructions for how you like your testing done as part of those custom instructions. Definitely. Like you could say, I, I want you to really focus on these sorts of things in your test. I want you to focus on, don't focus on these things in your test. I think I actually have that instruction. I don't care about performance right now. Please don't add performance tests. So like you can definitely go in and be specific with what you want. And of course I could put all this in the prompt, but doing that every single time is annoying, right? And gets old. And so that's the really cool thing about custom instructions. All right. So let's see what's happening here. All right. So we got some uh, water consumption tests. You can see we're checking to see different values. Um, we're clicking buttons. So here we're clicking the increment button, clicking it again, checking to make sure the label has the correct values. Same thing here for decrementing. This all looks good to me. So I'm gonna accept these changes. We went and found the UI test file, even though I didn't actually reference that in my project, which was in a different directory, right? That was over here. And my content view that we were editing was over here earlier. So that's pretty cool. We made the edits to my tests. We checked for errors. We're running some test cases just to make sure that everything is functioning appropriately. You can see here we're just spawning a ton of iOS processes, which is pretty cool to run my tests. Um, so if you're watching the terminal kind of at the bottom left here, you can see it's installing the application. It's running the UI test. So let's pop open clone one and clone two and see what's happening. You can see we're starting to increment and decrement the buttons on the far left, and it's running these tests all from agent mode, which is super cool. And it looks like all my tests succeeded. So I'm an amazing developer, thanks to agent mode. I, I wrote tests and they actually worked and my app works as expected. And yeah, thank you, agent mode. Amazing. Okay, so it's going through and it's also telling you, like it's validated the test for the errors, it ran the command yep. in the terminal. So you always have visibility of what agent mode is up to. This is awesome. Definitely. What was this last, last change that it's given you? Yeah, remember from earlier how we can execute commands in terminal, but also when the results finish and the command execution finishes, uh, Copilot edits agent mode can pick up on that. So like we, we ran the test and that was when I was like, oh, we finished. But then of course, like it said, test succeeded and this command ended. So then it took all of this output, say I didn't want to pay attention to the terminal, took all that output back into agent mode and it says, okay, your two tests here passed. Your water consumption decrement test passed, and here's how long it took. Increment passed, and here's how long it took. And so it says, hey, this works as expected. So it wrote back to my changelog what was going on, which I think is pretty cool. So these are all the things we've done in agent mode so far, and then it just summarized what it did. Is it changing the way that you develop in, in any of your workflows? Oh, of course, yeah. I think like any developer, I have more side projects than I like to admit I do, most of them unfinished. I'm building a lot of apps in my spare time, and for me, like I've always been someone who lives in the editor as a developer, right? And the interesting thing I've noticed as I've started using Copilot edits and now agent mode a bit more is I find myself 
transitioning a little bit from editor centric developer to more of a prompt first developer, which is a different change in mindset, right? Like before it was like, I needed to figure out what I needed to do. And then I had to figure out how to translate that into code. So there was a multi-step thing there. And as you saw here, I'm not even describing implementation necessarily. I'm just saying, this is what I want to do. And in my personal life, when I don't have very much time outside of work to build cool stuff that I want to work on in my personal time, agent mode has been a lifesaver, right? Because I'm just saying, these are the things I want to build. I'm giving it instructions, sometimes much better prompts than I was giving here, right? For more complicated scenarios, the better the prompt, the better the output. But I've just been really leaning into agent mode as my main way of working. And then when I need to, of course, I'm still jumping into the editor. I'm using classic copilot ghost text completions. I'm using the new next edit suggestions feature. But for the most part, actually, for me as a developer, the interesting thing I've noticed with agent mode is I'm spending much more time in this prompt centric approach than I am in the editor, which is super interesting and not what I expected, uh, but it's been cool to see how quickly I'm able to build things with agent mode. What else is coming up for uh, agent mode or what else can developers be looking forward to? Yeah, so the cool thing about VS Code Insiders is we're literally shipping every single day. So as our developers are making improvements to agent mode, you're getting those here. I think in general, you saw some of the tool examples we have like code base search and terminal execution. You can expect us to figure out, okay, what are the other cool places in VS Code we should be reaching into and how could we bring that context into agent mode as well? So we'll keep adding more tools. We'll keep improving based off your feedback and uh, yeah, Love to see what you do with it. Thank you for coming by and showing that to us, Piers. Of course. Thank you all. And that was your first look at GitHub Copilot agent mode. If this was helpful, hit the subscribe button so you never miss another feature update or dev tips. Push these changes to main and we'll catch you on the next release.